ओके हाय फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस ऑन अ टॉपिक कॉल्ड वेंचर कैपिटल सो व्हाट एग्जैक्टली इज वेंचर कैपिटल राइट सो अगर हम एक चीज देखें वेंचर uh, कैपिटल क्या होता है इट इज बेसिकली अ फंड दैट इन्वेस्ट्स इन कंपनीज और इन स्टार्टअप्स वेयर दे फील दैट इट इज एक्सपेक्टेड टू ग्रो और देर इज एन इमर्जिंग ग्रोथ दैट कैन बी सीन इन दोज कंपनीज और the companies where they have shown a growth trajectory right so the question arises then what exactly is a fund uh, so uh, a fund which we call it is just a part of a venture capital is exactly uh, a like minded people uh, or companies or family offices which are coming together to invest in companies or startups which they uh, basis their investment thesis and hypothesis and with the end objective or get of getting returns right so then the thing is how do you classify this fund what exactly is this fund so uh, what happens is that when all of these uh, people with common intentions come across they create a fund but that fund has to be notified by government so who notifies that sebi notifies that so all the funds have to apply to sebi to get themselves notified right which is under a category called as alternative investment fund or we call it as aif so okay so every venture capital who wants to invest in a startup or in a company needs to be sebi needs to be sebi registered under the alternative investment fund category theek hai now there are three types of alternative investment uh, uh, fund category there is called as a category 1 there is called as a category 2 and there is something called as a category 3 now generally the funds which are used for investment purposes in startups or companies and all of this falls under the category as one so all the venture capitalists who wants to do these investment should apply under category 1 of the uh, sebi regulations of alternative investment fund now under category 1 there is something called as engine fund also that has come across which is a subset of uh, which is a subset of vc uh, uh, which is a subset of fund अंडर वेंचर कैपिटल ठीक है सो दिस इज एक्जैक्टली वॉट इज अ फंड और अ वेंचर कैपिटल एंड हाउ इज द आर्किटेक्चर ऑफ इट ना वॉट डज अ फंड डू सो फंड बेसिकली इन्वेस्ट इन कंपनीज बेस इज देयर हाइपोथिस बट इन्वेस्टिंग थ्रू अ फंड मीन्स इट इज अ पेशेंट कैपिटल राइट सो देर आर हाई रिस्क एंड अ हाई गेन सो इफ यू इन्वेस्ट वाई आर वी सी फंड यू शुड बी मेंटली प्रिपेयर that uh, it will take 2 years 3 years before you get some sort of return so it's a patient capital it's not an immediate capital or an immediate exit or an immediate return okay again it is a high risk so let's say if i have 10 companies where i have invested so there will be one or two which would be, which would be a growth outliers which will give me a good return and when i say good return so in a period of 2 to 3 years somewhere around 3x to 4x to 5x and in a period of 5 to 6 years a period of, uh, a growth rate of about 10x of whatever i have uh, invested there will be acrossly uh, there would be about 3 to 4 set of those companies which would give me a marginal increase in uh, what i have actually invested in or at least make me make money and there would be about 4 or 5 of those companies which would actually i believe that would lose so uh, so the fund hypothesis is that those two outliers would actually make me uh, uh, would actually generate enough capital which could help me uh, to basically uh, reinvest across in other uh, other startups so this is how a fund hypothesis work now there are two types of venture capital fund right one is an early stage fund and uh, second is a growth stage fund what is an early stage fund abhi early stage fund is basically uh, let's say you have a proven market model okay and you want to uh, you want some sort of money uh, for basically uh, marketing and sales for basically pushing pushing marketing sales target reach out and all of that so that set of uh, fund uh, is basically that set of startup should apply to an early stage fund okay so just to give an example let's say take a sector called as qsr quick service restaurant now uh, imagine that you have already 3 4 5 outlets this is what we used to do when i used to be in the fund so uh, imagine there is a uh, quick service restaurant and he has done five outlets okay so now if he is able to manage five outlets and these outlets are somewhere is is showing growth okay month on month we call it as 
uh, same store uh, sales growth. So if they are showing a, a growth, okay, and uh, all the expenses are maintained. So in, if he has opened some four or five outlets, that means his product is stabilized. Now the money that he would actually require would be for expansion because he has some sort of a proven model. So such a type of startups or in those kinds of range of startups where you would require only money for marketing and sales and uh, from that perspective you go to early stage uh, fund which uh, typically invest in the range of 1 to 10 million dollars. Okay. The second type of fund is uh, for growth stage fund which generally invest in the range of 10 to 50 million dollars. It's like imagine that uh, you are providing kerosene. So if there is a, a very uh, a startup which is full of fire means he's uh, all uh, means he has uh, uh, created a great model and it's functioning and you just provide an additional kerosene so that uh, that growth increases in a very very subsequent man in a in a very very uh, huge manner. So for that particular uh, kind of uh, startups, a growth stage fund is required, which generally invest in the range of 10 to 50 million dollars. Okay, so let's say again you have a QSR case where there is a company who has already done somewhere around 35, 40 or uh, 35, 40 outlets. Okay, so here is a proven model. There is a product uh, success story. There is a sales success story. So now he wants expansion maybe possibly to a different geography or probably uh, to uh, basically further expand so, uh, further expand in terms of a new product line or basically expand uh, or basically uh, want to spend money in technology to, uh, to reduce his expenses in terms of logistics, in terms of packaging, in terms of transportation. So now they would ap approach to a growth stage fund to basically invest because this is some sort of a higher dollar capital that they would require to further streamline their businesses which so that they can have a better unit economics because if there is a proven product model, there is a proven sales model. Now, so these type of companies will go to a growth stage capital, right? So, uh, what I be, so here's a question that I want to ask uh, ask you basis today's uh, video is what are the two, what is a venture capital fund and what are the different types of venture capital fund? Uh, I am really eager and excited to uh, let your view, uh, to to let uh, I am eagerly excited to know your views and hope this video helps. Thank you.